In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a basic countdown timer all in DaVinci Resolve. But if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Jason Bullock and I help churches get better with video production and live streaming. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Now, like I said, this is gonna be a basic countdown timer that you can do in both the free and paid version of DaVinci Resolve. And we're gonna stay completely in the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve, so this is really basic. There is a more advanced version where I would have to go into Fusion and use expressions, and I'm not gonna cover that today. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below, and then I'll do that tutorial. But enough talking, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and as you can see, I have a blank project set up. So the first thing you wanna do is just make sure of your frames per second. Uh, that's important considering what your video is gonna be or if you're using this for a live stream, what your live stream is gonna be. Uh, you do this by doing the cog wheel on the lower right hand corner. You can't see that because my camera's blocking it. But if you click on the cog wheel, this will pop up. It'll tell you your settings. I have a 1080p timeline, 24 frames per second, and that's good for this project right here. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to the effects library and under titles right here, you wanna click and drag text plus to the timeline and it'll make a new timeline for you. All right, so we'll hide that. And now what you wanna do is you want to click and drag this to whatever length you desire. So we'll just drag this to a five minute countdown. All right, as you can see here, I'm at five minutes, but I'm actually gonna stretch this to five minutes and one second. Right there. And I'll tell you exactly why I'm doing this in a little bit. So now what you wanna do is with your text plus layer selected, go to the inspector here on the top right corner and you see the properties here for your text plus it is uh, it says fusion that's fine because it's kind of using some fusion attributes but we're staying all in the edit page so don't worry about going into fusion all right the first thing you want to do is right click anywhere at style text and you want to come down here to where it says time code and when you click that and bam the time code for wherever the scrubber is on the timeline will be displayed so here you got your frame, seconds, minutes, hours. Now, I'm assuming most people don't need frames. You don't need hours displayed. You just worry about the minutes and the seconds. At least that's what we're doing here. So how do you get rid of that? Well, it's actually very simple. So let's go over here back to the inspector tab. We're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says right on. And we're gonna take this right here at the start and we're just gonna move that over. And as you can see, as I move it over, the hours are disappearing. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the frames, except we're gonna to go to the end. So grab here at the end and move that to the left. And when you do, you'll start seeing that disappear. Now, here all we have is the seconds and the minutes. So right here is kind of where you design the taste. You decide what font you want, what color you want, etc. And this is really important because soon you're not going to be able to do this with the method you're using. So let's see, open sans, you know, that's good for this tutorial. Color is white, that's fine. And everything looks good. Let's make sure everything is centered. You want a background, you put a background. You know, spacing, if you want to space the characters out, that's all up to you. And here you do rotation. So this is where you do all your attributes, shading, properties. If you want to make that, something like that, that's awesome. Let's say this is all you want. You want this font right here. Everything looks good and you're done with the design. You're done with spacing. You're done with the color. You're done with the font. Everything's done. Now let's actually reverse it because right now it's just going up we want it to go down we want it to count down not count up so what you do is you right click and you make sure to click on new compound clip uh name it let's see name it countdown reversed create as you can see here it's made a new compound clip and all the attributes such as the color the font the spacing they're gone so that's why I said it's very important for you to make sure that you have that already done before we get to this step right here, because this is where we're going to reverse it. And it's a very simple process. So we're going to right click here and then we're going to go to change clip 
speed. Once you click that, all you gotta do is check reverse speed, change, bam. Now you have everything reversed. It says 501 now, uh, and the reason I did that is because sometimes there's a weird bug in Resolve where if you just started at five minutes, the countdown will actually start when you reverse it at four minutes, 59 seconds. Me personally, I want it to start at five minutes exactly. Maybe since the update that's changed, I don't know, but that's just good practice that I've always done. So let's just trim it down to five minutes. There, five minutes all the way to the end. And that's it. Now you have a five minute countdown. You've made completely free and simple on the Venture Resolve. And the good thing about this is that it's transparent. So I can bring in an element. So let me just put this up to a new layer. I'm gonna bring in an element. So I brought in this picture of my church. I'm just gonna stretch it out just a little bit. And as you can see, I have a countdown over this picture and you can do anything you can do pictures you can do videos you can do a fusion clip if you want to do some more advanced stuff so if you bought something from like igniter media or visual media church or one of those sites that sells uh backgrounds uh, you can put that in and then of course you can add stuff like shadows and stuff to help with the offset also you can change the position so i want this you know a little bit down to the corner probably not take up the full screen bam and there you go that is your basic countdown made completely free individual resolve all in the edit tab no advanced expressions or going into fusion de dealing with the nodes or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I have many more DaVinci Resolve tutorials. You can click here at this playlist to access those tutorials. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and share it with all your friends. And as always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification on to be notified when I upload new videos. But until next time, my name is Jason Bullock. Now, go make something awesome.